Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Tara Lynn. I'm an empath and psychic, and today's video was going to be a pick a pile on your financial status in 2021. This is the last day of a three day series for readings about 2021. So I'm gonna have linked in the cards above the blessings you're going to be receiving in 2021, and then your love life in 2021. I also wanna add that next week, I'm going to be doing year ahead readings for all 12 zodiacs. So hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I post your zodiac. I also wanna let you guys know that if you want to contact me for a private reading you can find all that information in the description box down below and now for today's reading we have three different piles for you guys to choose from we have the Celine Knight Tower the transformation crystal and the Merlinite wand so take a moment and pause the video if you need to meditate you can always pick more than one pick whatever you're drawn to remember this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't and then once you have found what piles you're drawn to you can find the timestamps in the description box down below and with all that that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the readings. So those of you who chose the Selenite Tower, I'm going to go ahead and put your crystal off to the side here. So for you guys, with your charms, for your financial status in 2021, I feel like you guys are going to be dealing with karma um, because we have the gold chain here. And specifically, I feel like this is going to be karma that's related to 2017 for a lot of you guys. That's the number that popped into my head. So I feel like there's um, a couple different situations going on here. I feel like there could have been something that you were meant to start in 2017, but you didn't. Um, there was something that you were meant to do and it's like you kind of ignored it and now that's catching up to you. I also feel like though that whatever issues and hardships and challenges you faced in 2017, you have learned from them and you are going to overcome them in 2021. But I really feel like with this crystal here, that this is saying that for your financial status, you are really the one who's controlling your fate. It's like you are pulling the strings. It almost feels like you guys are your own uh, wizard is the word I want to say, where it's like you are creating the balance and the alchemy of your own life. And I really feel like a lot of you guys too, that this is very spiritually related. So some of you guys could be going into a spiritual related field, but others, it's about having faith in yourself and in your goals and your ambitions. Uh, because all this is on the shore here. So it's like you're facing your karma, but we have this sacral chakra charm. And so all this is coming up to the shore and it's like you guys are getting this good karma. You guys are getting this towards you. And because you have the passion for it. I feel like a lot of your finances have to do with your passions. Um, and especially because we have the owl here and underneath it we have the be happy charm this is telling me that it's like you guys might have a facade going on now you might have a mask that you're trying to hide behind but once you push that away you're going to become happy you're going to get the happiness that you need out of your life and that's what 2021 is about it's about making you become authentic that's what i really feel like is going on with your business and the moment that you become authentic is the moment that finances are going to come to you easier because you're going to have a lot more opportunities open up because we have the flower all the way over here by herself it's like you guys are really balancing how unique and special you are and you guys are going to be able to bring something to light and it's like whatever you've been afraid of whatever hasn't been coming towards you it's like you've been in the winter right now um things are slowing down you've been in hibernation you feel like things are dead and dying and now your finances are turning into the springtime where you are bringing things to life you are getting things they're growing they're being um replenished and nourished and that's really what's going on with you it's like any installments um any issues with money, anything where it felt like you weren't getting it, you are going to get abundance. You are going to gain money in 2021. I really feel like you guys are going to become more peaceful when it comes to money. You're not going to have as many issues. Like I said, this karma um, is really being neutralized. It's really being turned around for the better. You're breaking that cycle. And then all the way here in the circle of protection, we have a couple different charms. So first we have the alligator and then we have the uh, London bus. Then we have the ring with the owl. Then we have an earring. We have um, the bird. We have the heart chakra charm. We have the dream catcher. And then over here, we have the throat chakra. And so what this is telling me, the fact that the throat chakra is not protected, I'm being told for a lot of you guys, uh, read contracts, um, really look at everything, um, double check it, uh, really make sure you're being aware of what you're signing and also be aware of what you're saying. I feel like sometimes you have um, a tendency to run your mouth and I feel like that can get you into trouble. So in 2021, really be smart about everything you're doing, really be 
wise, analyze it, check it, get someone else to check things. Um, make sure that you run through everything you need to run through. If you have to give a presentation, make sure you check that presentation multiple times. Make sure it's the best one you've ever given. Um, if you have to sign a contract, make sure you really analyze the fine print, make sure you're not getting screwed over. And if you're writing a contract, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure that you're not trying to um, decrease your value and decrease your worth by an undercharging yourself. Um, really make sure that you are doing everything that's fair and just for you. Um, don't screw, don't shoot yourself in the own foot is what I'm hearing for you guys. But if we go back to the circle of protection, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of energy. And so I really feel like you guys, you are going to be very protected, but I feel like you guys are also going to have to shield yourself because I feel like there's going to be a lot of draining energy in 2021 for you guys. And I feel like you really need to set proper boundaries. And once you do that, once you allow people to like take this bus and move out of your life if they're continuing to drain you you are gonna be able to focus on your dreams. I really feel like what's going on is that you have a lot of energy around you where they are trying to distract you. It's like, these are all distractions. And so it's like with that alligator, you gotta be the strong one. You gotta set up boundaries and make sure people know that when you're tough, you're tough and that you're not one to be laughed at. And so once you really set up what you need to do, you're gonna get rid of the clutter of those people or those situations and you're gonna be able to focus on yourself. You're gonna be able to free yourself. I feel like you are really having to uh, speak up for yourself and really protect yourself put up proper boundaries um, I really feel like with finances this year it's about knowing what you're worth not letting people take advantage of you not giving money to people who don't deserve it I feel like you guys work hard for your money and sometimes you don't realize that it's okay to be a little bit selfish like yes you want to give to people who need money you want to help people out but if you have a user or a taker in your life who was not grateful for what you're doing for them quit doing it because it's not helping you and you also have to realize that you have to take care of yourself before you take care of others I feel like sometimes you're giving too much where you're depleting your own self and you can't do that especially for those of you where you were trying to run your own business you have to put up boundaries to make sure that you are actually making this a livable job for you so that you can actually provide for yourself and your family and then you can go and do free promotions or try and um, give people discounts you know you can work with people but make sure that you are taking care of yourself first and I really feel like it's important for you guys to know what you're doing and being aware of what you're doing it really seems like 2021 is where you become much more loved logical with things. And I feel like you might have a couple people when it comes to your finances this year who try and butt in and have their own opinions on how you should be doing things. And I really feel like it's important for you to know that you don't have to listen to them. Like if they're upset because they're not gaining off of you anymore, then you don't really need that type of energy in your life. And so I feel like in 2021, money is going to be balanced out. Karma is going to be balanced out. You're going to bring things towards you. You're going to get abundance. You're going to be happy and you're going to set boundaries so that this is sustainable because right now yeah, you might be happy with what you're doing, but your finances are not what they need to be. That are not sustainable for you in the long term. And now you're going back and you're readjusting things. You're finding that balance. So you can be this hula girl here and you can relax. And once you do that, everything in 2021 is going to fall into place. And it's going to feel so much easier for you because you don't have this big pressure on you anymore. I really feel like any issues and any conflict with money and your career and finances is going to be falling away because you're finding a way to balance it that works for you. And I feel like you guys are just gonna free yourself. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this message. I'm gonna have the previous two videos linked in the cards above, and I can't wait to see you all next week for the Zodiac readings. Have a good one, bye. So those of you who chose the transformation crystal, I'm gonna put it off to the side here. So looking at your charms, I'm really getting the sense that you guys are going to be dealing with a little bit of struggles when it comes to your finances this year. I feel like in 2021, you guys are going to have a breakthrough with money, but I feel like you guys have a lot of mental limitations and you're holding yourself back when it comes to what you can do and what you can get. I feel like you guys block yourself when it comes to manifestations because I feel like here in the middle here with all these charms, you guys want a lot of things and you're trying to level up you're trying to get them 
but it seems like what you're doing just isn't clicking. It feels like things aren't quite making sense. And so I feel like if you look at the shore here, it's like we have the flower and then we have the palm reading charm and then we have the sacral chakra that's trapped. And I really feel like all this is saying, it's like it's a block that comes to your intuition, that comes to your abilities to adapt and to change. I feel like you guys try and get into mindsets where you hold on to what you have and it's like you feel like you're lacking money so you're not allowing yourself to feel like you're free and that is holding you back because it also is limiting you from the opportunities you say yes to because you're being too logical with money it's really stifling you and it's holding you back and I feel like in 2021 you were going to have to realize that you can't be so fearful when it comes to money because that's what's really holding you back it's like you're fearful of things and so because we have this Libra charm here it says charming I feel like you guys are going to be able to balance this in 2021 but it's going to take some time so I feel like in the beginning you guys are going to struggle with money and gaining abundance um, leveling up with your career um, and getting new opportunities I really feel like you're going to be holding on and just like kind of staying at a plateau um, it doesn't feel like you guys are like specifically losing money but it feels like you guys just are staying where you're at and it's like this level-headed steady energy and I feel like all the way here we have this um, let me move the candle so you guys can see it we have this like diamond and so I really feel like what this is saying is that 2020 is going to offer you a breakthrough when it comes to finances and this is just manifestations as a whole your blocks and limitations with it is going to be cleared you're going to have a breakthrough and once that happens you're going to attract all this to you I feel like it's almost going to be a magnet where it's like you unlock this and then all this energy here just goes straight to it um, that's where the, that's what I'm really envisioning for you guys is that it's like you have this block you have the setback but once you figure out how to get past it and you heal from it everything is being attracted to you because we have the root chakra and the throat chakra and the circle of protection and so what that's telling me is that you guys are going to be able to ground yourself and you're going to be able to speak up and stand up for what you need and so it's like you guys are going to break through this block you guys are going to clear these blocks because you're gonna face your truth you're gonna face reality and so it's just a matter of actually getting to that point because I feel like right now in the beginning of 2021 you guys are wishing for things too much that's what it is you're block with manifestations and with abundance and getting things is that you guys are wishing for them but you're not actually taking action and what I mean told for you guys it's like you can wish for everything you want but if you don't go out it's like you're wishing for let's say you're wishing for a million dollars and then you never play the lottery you just expect to get a million dollars how is that a million dollars gonna get to you? Maybe the way you wish for it and the way you get it is because you take a risk and you play the lottery and then you win it. It's like your opportunity is there, your wish is there, but you're not actually picking up your wish that you got. And that's what uh, Spirit is trying to tell you. It's like your block is that you think everything's just going to be handed to you, that you think if you want something bad enough, you're going to be able to just attract it into your life. And that's not really the case. When you manifest, when you wish for things, when you want Want things you have to put that energy out there but you got to meet the universe halfway the universe isn't gonna give you it every single step of the way you have to walk halfway to where the universe is and so what that means taking a risk saying yes to this new job opportunity or putting yourself out of your comfort zone so that you do something that gets you recognized or that picks up steam that's what's gonna bring you to the place where you get to attract all these manifestations to you I really feel like you guys are going to level up you guys are going to have this breakthrough but it's just a matter of actually turning this car so it's upright and it starts driving again because right now with it being on its side it's like you guys are so close but you're just not there yet and that's what I feel like is going on with everything for you guys in 2021 all your finances and money and career related issues are going to be resolved but you have to be the one to fix them you have to be the one to change things and then you can be where you want to be you can be on the road and the journey that you want to take but you have to get yourself there because it's like right now you're in point A and you have point B and now you have to figure out how to get point A to point B instead of just focusing on being on point A and hoping point B is going to come to you because what you need to realize you can't control point B it is not yours to influence it is not yours to change the only way you can get to B is if you take yourself and you bring yourself towards it that's what is blocking you guys right now it's like you're wanting things to come to you but there's no reason for it to come to you you know the universe doesn't have to bring something towards you it's about you controlling your actions and what you do with your life and I really feel like this year 
is going to be a year where you focus on healing things, you focus on taking actions, because with the starfish here, it's like you're not gonna be stuck anymore. You're gonna really realize that you have to leave yourself from uh, past situations. You have to walk away from things that aren't serving you. You have to walk away from this stagnant energy and move forward, and that's when you're gonna get a lot of wisdom where you can level up. I really feel like this is a year about you making commitments with this ring and you actually sticking through with them and focusing on them, working hard for them, because the ruby is is all about success. It's all about having courage and optimism and going for what you want and not feeling defeated, not feeling hopeless. And so by you staying committed to things, you guys are going to allow yourself to focus on good goals that you can actually achieve once you put in the right work. So I feel like 2021 for you guys is gonna be a year that takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of dedication, but you're gonna be where you wanna be once you let yourself realize it requires your action. Once you realize the way that you're holding yourself back and the ways you're blocking yourself, you're gonna be able to change all this and attract it towards you. And so I really feel like 2021 has the ability to become your year when it comes to finances and status and security and money. But it's about you really acknowledging your own part and allowing yourself to do the work to get it. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this message. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you wanna see my zodiac readings and I can't wait to see you all in my next video have a good one bye so those of you who chose the Merlinite wand I'm gonna put it off to the side here so looking at your charms for 2021 when it comes to your finances I really feel like you guys are going to be able to make things work for you I feel like you guys are gonna be hustling and putting in a lot of hard work that is going to pay off because we have this owl charm and the bow on top of it it really makes me feel like whatever uh, presentation you're trying to show off to the world is going to pay off I feel like you guys in 2021 you're really going to have a good public image because this is really close to the shore which means it's coming to your conscious mind it is really showing me that you are going to have the ability to persuade people to get people to like you um, to have them think of you as someone that they really look up to and they respect and so I really feel like this year when it comes to your finances and when it comes to um, your career and anything relating to those I really feel like you guys are going to be able to make people trust you they're gonna like you and in turn you're going to have a lot of support I really feel like like in 2021 you are going to have people who believe in you and I feel like that's really good especially those of you who you're trying to do something with your own business or really start like marketing yourself on social media I feel like whatever you're doing is going to pay off and for those of you where maybe you're not in a field like that I feel like if you have to do public speaking if you have to do a presentation or anything even if you're just talking to your boss and trying to get a raise or a promotion you guys are going to be able to convince them by using your words by thinking it through you guys are really going to believe in the things that you were saying because all the way here we have the throat chakra too and so this is telling me it's like you guys are able to convey your ideas you're able to speak them in a way that's clear and concise and is really going to resonate with people is what I'm being told for you guys in 2021 I want to add that we have all the chakras here besides the solar plexus chakra and the solar plexus chakra is all about your ambition your drive your willpower your strength your courage and so I really feel like in 2021 you guys are going to be learning how you can gain that how you can start to believe in yourself because right now it's like everyone else believes in you and everything else is balanced but you don't really believe in yourself and so you're gonna learn how to do that we also have the root chakra here with the karmic uh, chain and so that's telling me when it comes to your finances this year that you guys are going to deal with karma that's making you have to ground you have to really realize what's important to you and what makes sense for you I feel like this year you're going to have so many different options and you're gonna have all these different paths that you can take and you are gonna to have to work hard to focus yourself on the path that is meant for you one that is grounded and realistic now it doesn't mean that you can't go for your big dreams and your big goals but this is saying this is a year to focus on what's the baby steps in order to get to that big goal you know you are at point A and you want to get to point B so find the ways to bridge the gap find the steps that are in between and start focusing on those in 2020 
2021. I really feel like this is the year to do groundwork and to pay attention to what you can do and what you have the ability for. Because we have this Taurus charm here and it says in creator and then the back of the Capricorn charm here says ambitious. So you have two earth signs here. This is telling you it's your year to ground and it's your year to plan. And the thing about earth signs, they don't let things get in their way. If they want to do something, they find a way to do it. And so that's the energy you guys are going to be embodying with your financial uh, status this year. I really feel like you guys are going to be working on creating things, working on building things and not taking no for an answer. That's why with this owl charm here, it's like you have the wisdom to persuade, to make people see your point of view. You don't have to back down. You need to believe in yourself because with this ruby ring, I'm being told for you guys, this is about being courageous, putting yourself out of your comfort zone in a way that's going to bring you commitments and it's going to be successful because once you ground yourself, once you focus on the baby steps, you can get anything you want. You don't have to hold yourself back. There's no limit. And I also want to add that we have the rose here and we have the rose here on top of the dream catcher. So the dream catcher is all about your dreams. It's all about the things that you want and it's the big goals that you have. Like I was talking about earlier, it's like you have point A, which is where you're at and you have point B, which is where you want to be. And so then the roses, that is about planting the seeds. When you plant a rose, you have to plant the seeds, tend to it, make sure it's getting sunlight, make sure it's getting water, and making sure that it has everything it needs to be ordered to grow. And then you have to wait for it to grow. You have to wait for it to sprout. And that's what's going on in 2021 for you guys. It's like you guys are tending to your own garden. You guys are making sure that you have the water, that you have the nutrients, and now you're just waiting. And all these things that you're planting are going to grow, but it's not necessarily going to happen this year. It's going to happen because you started this year and eventually later on you're going to get it all and that's where it's really about grounding yourself seeing the big picture I feel like 2021 is a time for you to really evaluate what you want focus on what your dreams are really get to know who you are and what you want and then you can create the baby steps in order to get that I feel like this is your year to create and to play with and not feel scared or held back by anything and for those of you who have money issues I feel like you're going to find solutions to get away from it especially if you have any debt I feel I feel like you guys are going to start paying off that debt and so even though you might not be done with it by the end of the year you're gonna be in a better stage than you are going into the year because down on the conscious shore we have the hula girl and she's connected to this heart chakra and so that's telling me that in 2021 you guys might need to make a new financial plan you might have to budget money you might have to prioritize work or something that's important over having fun and leisure time and I feel like once you find that balance it's going to help you when it comes to uh, how you spend your money and how you save your money because even though in the short term it's not going to feel as rewarding you're gonna allow that money to accumulate and you're gonna be able to put it towards things that you need to because we also have the quarter here and so the quarter is about the number seven and seven is all about your spirituality and really grounding yourself it's almost like the hermit card when we talk about tarot and so I really feel like you guys are going to be able to focus on yourselves this year focus on what you want this year and you're going to find the baby steps you need. And so I don't feel like there's going to be big changes this year, but it's going to be a lot of small positive changes and that's what's really going to help you. I feel like this is your year to find a budget that works for you or find uh, things in your career that's going to help propel you in the future. But I feel like it's going to be overall really good for you, even if it doesn't seem all that different. Because we have the circle of protection here and nothing's in it, which means that you yourself, your financial and your subconscious and your thoughts are all protected. And so it's like whatever ideas you have, no matter how outrageous you might think this dream is, know that it's attainable. You just have to break it down. And that's what this year is all about for you guys when it comes to your finances, is breaking things down. Just like with this mask here, it's like if you guys want to give a presentation or you want to convince someone of something, you don't go in acting crazy. You do it in small, subtle ways where they relate to you. And that's what you're doing with your finances and your goals this year is you're finding out how you can break down the big goal into smaller steps that are going to be attainable one step at a time. And I really feel like once you do that, once you get into that mindset and you don't think of this as a sprint, but you think of it as a marathon, you're going to attract money 
money and abundance towards you because you're putting in the work to do it and you're going to start believing in yourself. Because right now, I feel like there's a lot of doubt when it comes to what you can do and what you're capable of. And 2021 is your year to recognize that you can do whatever you want. You have the power to create whatever you want and that you don't need to be held back by the past and that you don't need to be held back by what things are currently going on. You have the ability to change tomorrow into the life you want one step at a time. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this message. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my Zodiac readings. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.